Hi everybody, it's Misty. I am going to do a bit of a drum carding tutorial for you guys tonight. Um, I've already laid a base layer down of some black commercial merino top uh, and a bit of sari silk. Uh, I got this from Kamaj Fiber Arts. Mary is a super awesome lady and she has the best silk stuff. So with that out of the way, I am going to add now some beautiful black alpaca. Uh, you want to open it up a bit, you know, don't just jam it through there like this. Uh, open it up almost enough like where you can see through it, like about like that's good. And avoid the temptation of hanging on to it as you feed it into the drum. Uh, that's just going to make it hang out here on the liquor end. As you can see, I've got a lot of uh, stuff on here that I need to clean. So, that being said, I'm going to add that alpaca. It looks black, but, it, you know, underneath my lights, I think it's a really dark chocolate brown. Regardless, it's dark, it's gorgeous, and it's going to be a beautiful bat. I'm going to add a little bit more on there, and then I'm going to add some fun stuff. I'm going to add some more of the Sari Silk from Kamaj, and I'm going to just paint it on my drum directly. I'm not going to feed it in because it'll get stuck in the little liquor and drum. I'm sorry, the video's a bit wobbly. Uh, I have it directly uh, affixed to my my drum carter because where my drum carter setup is i don't have a place to mount my tripod so sorry guys the more i go the better equipment i'm gonna get so just stick with me and we're gonna have a lot of fun i'm gonna show you lots of stuff that i wish i would have been shown in the beginning i'm gonna add a little bit more of that sorry silk i love that color I just love it. I just love, 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 love this stuff. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add some silk thrums. Now the thing with silk thrums, it's really important to remember, is that you need to cut it. Cut it into short bits of thread because if you go and you try to put the long bits on there without it, it's going to wrap all the way around your drum and it's going to be impossible to take it off your carter. It's abuse to your carter and what did your carter ever do to you? And also, you see right here there's this metal channel right here, the break in the teeth. This is where we're going to take our dofer. Although, I don't know where my dofer went, so I'm going to use a flimsy little metal knitting needle because I don't like knitting with metal knitting needles. So, it's going to take one for the team. And also, don't do what I just did and add it across this channel because it's going to make it really, really hard for you to take it off the drum. And now, I think I'm going to add some purple Angelina because it's awesome with sparkles. Um, maybe I'm going to add some white. And maybe a little bit of pink. I'm gonna add some more uh, sorry silk. Like bats, you want to, unless you want to do like a, a smoothly bend, blended bat and you want all the uh, blah, 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 all the colors just to kind of like meld together, then use similar colors. But I like a lot of pop. I like a lot of color, so I'll always look at my color wheel and see what is directly across from it. 
that's helpful. Art will just, you know, whatever I grab and throw at my cart. Sometimes it's fun just to see what the hell comes out of it, you know. And see. Now I'm going to grab me a hand card down here and pack that in a little bit. You could use a paintbrush. That would be better. It would be better for your carter. And then you get this extra stuff that comes off of it. That's completely okay. We can just feed it right back through the carter. And then also, <laughs> it's going to come off on there too. My carter is a coarse drum carter. And this is really fine, fine fiber. So I really got to fight with my drum carter to get what I want on there. I really want a mad batter or an Ashford super fine like double wide. That would be amazing. But right now you do with what you got. And I like where this is going. I'm going to tilt you up a little bit so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Now normally if this was for a customer, I would make this a lot thicker, but for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and take it off now. You got my brake, and you just want to pull out like that. I really do have a dofer. I just have no idea. You could use a screwdriver. I even have one of the, the Strauch uh, knuckle saver removers, but we moved here and I had packed all my stuff away and honest to God, I haven't got all my stuff out of my storage units yet, all my fiber stuff. So, okay, now we're gonna take this off. So I'm gonna unscrew my brush and I'm gonna flip it back and then I am going to just take that off. With blending on a drum carter, you have to remember if you want everything to blend smoothly, all of the lengths of the fiber needs to be about the same length or it's not gonna mix well. That's just a heads up. Now, see, here's some that's not wanting to come out. Now, another thing is to be cautious about your drum carter. Now, look, I'm rubbing my hand on it and shaking the camera all over the daggone place, but these teeth are not sharp. They're just pokey. But this is still a dangerous piece of equipment, and you should really supervise your children when using it. Don't be afraid of them. They ain't going to bite you. Unless you run your fingers through there, but that would just be stupid. I don't know why you would do that. Okay, so there we have it. A beautiful, beautiful art bat. Sparkles for days. Thank you guys. Bye.